More than 24 hours after the power went out in Wildwood, some are spending a second night in the dark. A fire at a substation on Friday took out power for 24,000 people. Now we do have a live look at the boardwalk there in Wildwood. This is from Sky 6 at this hour. It's kind of freezing up. Uh, we think maybe power issues might have something to do with that, but you can see some light on the, the uh, boardwalk and then closer to the left side of your screen, kind of dark. Action News reporter Katie Catro has the latest from Wildwood. According to Atlantic City Electric, the majority of power is restored. They do say more than 80% of their customers have power. They do expect the rest of their customers to get power sometime later this evening or into the overnight hours. However, earlier today we did see some power back on the boardwalk. However, there has been intermittent power outages and Atlantic City Electric says that is all part of the process. Tonight, part of Wildwood's boardwalk was still in the dark, many people walking around with flashlights in hand. Technically, we have uh, ice cream business, so we're done. Earlier today, we spoke with business owners who say they lost a lot of money because of the power outage. A couple thousand dollars because it's really busy weekends. The power outage affected around 24,000 people in Wildwood and the Crest. It happened after a fire at Lake Avenue substation Friday. Atlantic City Electric crews have been working to restore power, but it's a complicated process. The complexity of this restoration effort with rerouting power, um, it's, it's summertime, it's hot, there's a lot of load on our grid, so we have to be very cautious to not overload the grid. A lot of storefronts were closed throughout the day, although many flocked to the boardwalk to feel the cool ocean breeze. It's just eerie, like we've never seen the boardwalk still, and we've been coming here since we were two or three years old. Store owners have had to work in the dark. I'm like sweaty with no, no lights, nothing. It's crazy. Children say they are upset they haven't been able to go on any rides. The roller coasters aren't open, but we're hopeful it'll happen like tomorrow, the next day, or something. Well, I was gonna go on a ride with my uncle, and I was I was so sad because I didn't get to. Certain portions of the energy grid have to be de-energized, which is why you may be experiencing intermittent power outages, according to Atlantic City Electric. Again, they do hope that all power is restored by the overnight hours. Reporting in North Wildwood, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News. And that is something we are keeping an eye on for sure.